Hello, all y'all fine and good people. This is your co-host, Kimberly Bryant. Okay, so this is what's going on this week. And I know we've been absent for uh, quite a few weeks here. So we've been sick um, ever since I've been back home in Louisiana. I don't know if it's my immune system or what. That's just not, um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm not adjusting to it or what, but I was working with a bunch of little munchkins, little kids. And unfortunately with me being around them, and with my two-year-old niece, I ended up catching their little sicknesses and illnesses. And every time I would go visit my family, I would end up carrying that with me. And then so therefore, I had passed it on to Blair. And um, she is out with pneumonia, but hopefully she is um, on the mend and we'll have her back soon. So anyway, I decided to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick little deep dive. I want to do a little deep dive on Diddy. And this whole thing that's going on because oh my god it's a mess and i've um it's actually something i've been interested in for a while now because i've heard rumors for years and years about his behavior and things that were going on um in the dark and like they say what happens in the dark always comes out in the light so i'm going to touch a little bit on that and some other things we've got going on in pop culture news of course gypsy rose blanchard now is getting a divorce not a divorce she is getting separated from her husband and has moved out of their home after being um, together physically for um, only three months, because it's been three months since she's been out of prison. So we'll tap on that. And of course, a little bit of Leah McSweeney, and she's saying, I don't care about that Real Housewives of a New York check, because my OnlyFans check is bigger. That's, that's Those are pretty much her words, allegedly similar. I don't want to get sued for saying the wrong things, but we'll get to that a little bit. But but thank you all so much for um, bearing with us, sticking here. Please don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, um, help us grow. We're, we're still like in a thick of it. Of course, we started our YouTube channel at the end of October. We're still on Spotify, Apple. Um, and yeah, we're just we're trying to grow and grow. And TikTok, of course, we're at the.popculture green room and instagram we are at uh, the pop culture green room and of course we're also on facebook we've got a group and a page so also at the pop culture green room so all right so let's go ahead and get started here all right so diddy of course formerly known as p diddy puff daddy as we've all known him we've most of us have grown up listening to his music he was a mogul for um founder of bad boy records in 1990 so it's just, it goes way back. He is a fixture in hip hop culture and that's just how it is. And that's who he is. And of course, what's going on now is that as of last Thursday, I believe it was, when was March? Okay. Whatever day March 25th was, I don't have my calendar on me, but however it is, that's the day that the um, Homeland Security federal agents had showed up to his properties, his property in Los Angeles and his property also in Miami. And they did raid the homes. Um, from my understanding and according to TMZ, it looks like his sons, it was um, Justin and I can't remember which other son it was, but they were um, they were just handcuffed, but they weren't arrested. They weren't under um, arrest or anything. They weren't um, in jail. So um, according to Diddy's um, attorneys, they're saying that, well, one of his attorneys saying that these um, accusations are baseless and they are sickening. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen really quick because I've got an article because he was actually just seen recently out and about in Miami because it looked like at first um, it was rumored that he had fled. But it looks like he actually didn't flee the country. He was actually spotted out in Miami um, near his home. I believe it's his one of his homes or the home maybe since Star Island. And he had been spotted with his twins. And he was also spotted out, out and about with um, Stevie J, who's also um, a legend in the um, hip hop industry as well. And of course, if you are familiar with Love and Hip Hop, he is also a cast member there. So it's just, it's it's wild. There's just so much that is um, going on. But yeah, let me just go ahead and share my whole screen here because I'm still trying to get a hold of this, but bear with me, you guys. And thank you so much. So let's see what we've got here. 
All right, okay. And this is an article I found. Okay, this is from TMZ. And so where it says, is in public again this time with CJ and Toe. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's out here. I mean, he's acting like there's, um, like he's got nothing to fear. He's not worried about anything. Um, of course, I mean, I'm going to assume that he's going to play it as cool and, and it's like everything's wild, but it, I can tell you this, it definitely caught me off guard when everything came to light because I really didn't expect it to happen. So let's just go ahead and rewind it a little bit. So back in November of 2023, Cassie Ventura, she of course was a longtime girlfriend of over 10 years. And um, she came forward. She um, went and filed a lawsuit, a civil suit under the New York um, Adult Survivors Act. And she did it right before it expired. If I'm correct, I do want to do a little bit more research on this, but they had a year window that they opened up for survivors. And that's whenever survivors just started coming forward and she came through and I mean she unloaded and um the way from um that's uh the South District of New York the Southern District of New York um the DA I'm concerned it's like if they don't have anything that's pretty solid um any kind of um evidence or anything that doesn't look like it's uh, beyond reasonable doubt, they're not going to go and conduct a search, but they've done a huge, there's a lot going on here. So, um, but as I, I didn't state yet, but did he, he's not under arrest at this time. He hasn't been arrested, but like I said, he's out and about, he's all smiles. He's out in public. People have been seeing him, but, uh, but yeah, ever since she came forward, more um, lawsuits have been popping up. Um, we've got Rodney, Lil Red Jones, um, Lil Rod Jones, my bad. Um, he's the most recent lawsuit that was uh, filed in February of um, 2024, this year, of course, on the 26th. That was also filed in New York. That's where most of these motions are actually coming from. And so he's alleged that he's alleging that Diddy was responsible for unwanted advances um, towards him by his actually is by associates of, of Diddy towards him. I don't believe he said it was actually Diddy himself. But we've got that one. We also have Joey Dickerson Neal, who also filed in November of 2023 and alleged that uh, Diddy had drugged and assaulted and secretly recorded the assault. Oh, Y'all, these these are horrible. And just, they just don't get any. Um, of course, it's not going to get any better. It's all looks pretty bad. But um, but yeah, and it, I, I'm assuming that she's one of the three women. But they, of course. Three women came forward with the uh, lawsuits after Cassie did, so it's um it's a big mess. And there was um a plaintiff that came forward saying that Diddy and Aaron Hall um raped her and a friend back in either 1990 or 1991 after they met him in a, at an event, and that days later Diddy actually showed up to the home of the plaintiff and she um, was threatened by him and he was irate and he began to choke her until she passed out. Oh my God, just so awful. And a 17 year old female also says that she was gang raped by him. And I guess his entourage or his associates in 2003. Um, one of his attorneys, Sean Holly, is um, saying that um, these events are all pure fiction. But like I said before, okay, Aubrey O'Day's been saying for a long time. And I don't even know if it was even a year ago, but she was on the Call Her Daddy, Daddy podcast. And I did happen to catch that episode. And she just went, I mean, she went in on him and she went ham and she was just like, I've been saying it. I've been saying it for so long. And she took to our social media. She was very vocal about this. And she said for 20 years that she's been um, vocal about his behavior, about what's been going on. And finally, it's it's coming out. And she actually posted in her social media and had on her Instagram stories. And one of the uh, titles, was, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not even paying attention, y'all. I've got all these little, <laughs> just scrolling through, I've got all kinds of things here that I'm not talking about while I'm, okay, sorry, y'all got to forgive me. This is my new attempt at sharing a screen. But anyway, okay, so back to that. So she had a quote where she said, what you sow, you shall reap. 
But um, oh yeah, it's just it's insane. But then now it just goes back to Kim Porter, the Kim Porter of it all, because she allegedly passed away of um she had pneumonia back in 2018, and she was the mother of Diddy's three children, three of his children, and a longtime girlfriend. And it was also alleged that she was writing a tell-all book and around the same time that she had died. And there were so many people just suspicious about her death. The fact that it was pneumonia, she was completely healthy, 47-year-old woman. There's a, a lot of things that are coming back up, a lot of speculations. Like I said, all this is alleged. It's speculation. None of this is really confirmed. So it's um, just the things I've done for my research from looking at like page six and CMZ and people magazine all my sources but but yes it looks like um they are authorities are getting a hold of did he spite manifests they're, they're they're searching they're looking for things and i'm curious as to how many other names and how many other people are going to come out what's going to happen is he going to get arrested will there be char char charges filed i've got so many questions so many thoughts i want to know what your thoughts are tell me i want to know what you're thinking and of course, from behind the prison walls, we got um, some thoughts from Suge Knight. So apparently he was a guest on, actually, no, he's not a guest. I believe he's actually a co-host for the uh, Collect Call podcast with Dave Mays. I haven't, um, I'm not familiar with it. So I'm going to do a little bit more research because I don't want to like give wrong information. But however it was, I just wanted to mention that um, Suge Knight was vocal about his thoughts. And he was just basically like, yeah, brother love, um, uh, if he gets locked up, because he believes that's how it's going to play out. He believes, uh, allegedly, Suge Knight believes that it's going to play out, that Diddy's going to get locked up. And he's just saying that when he gets locked up, he may not want to use that name in prison. But, okay, that's um, it's, it's interesting, interesting. And, of course, during this whole search, we had, this is something else I want to bring up. Uh, Brandon Paul, who's... People are asking who he is. So apparently, while all this is going on, he was um, the, it looks like the uh, federal agent, security and uh, customs and customs and border protection actually come across drugs. It, not small, it was, small, but it was, it wasn't, it did like he was dealing um to large groups it was just um the amount of drugs he had i guess for i guess an individual or maybe a couple of people but um as the plane was intercepted at the balaka airport i mean the drugs and everything that he had so i'm bringing him um he had actually mentioned him in the lawsuit um and I'm doing this again. Okay, so here's this guy. So he's he's like I said, he's 25 years old. He actually he um let's see here. He actually he played basketball at um Syracuse University. Here's the guy here. And apparently after he left school, he transferred to another university. I don't, I can't remember if he finished or not, um, but however it was, he got into the um, music production and apparently that's how he and Diddy, um, they, allegedly how they met and became friends. But he is allegedly his drug mule. Um, and like I said, he was arrested um, during that whole raid and everything that was going on that they had found the drugs on him. And like I said, Rodney had actually mentioned him. He said that he is actually per, per he has actually personally witnessed Mr. Paul either transport or uh, try to transport illegal drugs between flights from Miami, Virginia, the Caribbean, um, and London, like on three occasions. So yeah, this is very, very interesting. So that's um, so that's what we've got on in the world of Diddy. But I just I really want to kind of go into it a little bit more, and it wasn't so much because um it wasn't so much because of the whole i guess yeah what well, did have something to do with a little bit of like the me too movement and wondering if this is like a resurgence and 
are people still coming forward and are um, victims still standing up and are they being heard? But it's, it's, it's sad because I've heard for, like I said, a long time. I've heard whispers about Diddy and I just wanted to do a little bit more research and I'm still researching because this goes on for so long. And these accusations, it looks like these can go up to about almost 30 years. So it's really, it's wild, but it's horrible. I hope that justice is served. I hope that things get done, but it goes to show you what money can do, like money and power. And it's insane. But another good news, <laughs> what's going on? I, I didn't get it to get a clip or a screen grab of this, but Beyonce's new album did come out. She did drop her new um, album. It came out on the 29th, which was two days ago. So I'm super excited to listen to that. I haven't heard it yet. A lot of people are in uproar over it. There is controversy. I don't get it. I don't understand why. I mean, Beyonce, whenever she first came up, a country was always a part of um, the genre of music that she listened to. And it's just something that's just deep rooted in her culture, in which she's um, been about. So I don't get it. No one complained really when Taylor Swift crossed over from country to pop, but um, apparently there's an issue with Beyonce crossing over from R&B to country, but I'm excited about it. I heard that Willie Nelson's on the album, that there's um, an interlude with Dolly Parton. And I also heard that she and Miley Cyrus did a really great song. So I have to listen to it. If anybody's heard it, please tell me your thoughts. Let me know, because I want to know. I want to know what you're thinking. All right, what else we've got going on? Okay, so like I said, Gypsy Rose Blanchard. She and her husband are splitting up and, or they are separating. And as I told Blair, my co-host to this, I, I saw this coming. It's actually, ha it's happening a lot sooner than I expected. Personally, I was giving them two years, two years max. But the whole thing was, okay, so they met while she was in prison. Gypsy has come out of here and she is basically in like a whole new, I mean, it's just a whole new ball game. She's basically enthralled in fame now. She had millions of followers on her social media, on Instagram. I don't, I believe her, she took her social media down for a little bit. When I first heard about that, then that's when I was like, okay, there, I think there might be a little bit of a problem there. So here we go. And, but that's my observation. Actually, if I don't know if any of you pay attention or watch or listen to the, the vile files, but when I saw that interview, with Gypsy and her husband, Ryan Anderson. I was, I don't know if you noticed, but I did, but he seemed really possessive of her. He seemed pretty possessive of her. And I noticed that he didn't really want her to speak, that he was trying to speak for her. And that's when I was just like, all right, dude, I got your card. I see you. I see you. And so that's when I knew I was like, I don't think this is going to, to um last. But I'm really glad her dad. It seems like they've got a really great relationship but I've noticed that throughout the years and I've always been extra invested in this case, mainly because I am from Louisiana. That's where Blair and I are from. And it's, it's such a wild and it's uh, such a crazy, bizarre story. And um, that's why I've basically, I've, I've followed it. I've followed it since I first heard about it. So it's, it's very interesting. I'm curious to see how things go, but I think she's in a great place. She needs to be, um, I think, surrounded with her dad, her stepmom. She and her stepmom have a great relationship. I see in her half sister. So I'm glad about that. But anyway, let me just go ahead and give a little backstory on Gypsy because I left that out in case people aren't familiar. Go ahead and research. So she was um, allegedly a victim of Munchausen by proxy. Her mom, Dee Dee Blanchard, was um, basically essentially just poisoning her, almost nearly killing her child and um, she just had her pose as someone a lot younger than she was and that she allegedly or supposedly had all these illnesses, had cancer, and her health was declining and deteriorating because her mom was basically putting her um, through hell and her whole body that could have killed her and she was doing it for money and fame. And so she and her then boyfriend, Nicholas Godijan, that she met on ChristianMingle.com. Oh, how wild is that? Okay, that's crazy. Okay, but anyway, 
that's where they met and they plotted um, to kill her mother. Nicholas did kill her mom, it was a brutal murder and Gypsy um, served eight years, a little bit over eight years um, for the crime and so she had been released. But I'm definitely gonna be following this because I'm curious, I really wanna know what's um, going on. And I did it again, okay, all right, y'all, sorry. <laughs> Me and sharing the screen is not, uh, working out too well and um, I'm gonna get this figured out like I said I'm new at this okay so here's a picture of the then happy couple but yeah like I said I, I said I gave them two years so they lasted not nearly as, as long once she was out of prison but I, I already knew it I knew she was gonna be brandy once she got out and I don't know just there's there's things that just I don't know I hope she's still getting therapy and everything, but I think she's right where she needs to be. And that is my opinion. And I think that's so. All right. Lastly, so we'll go ahead and wrap up here. All right. So it looks like Leah McSweeney is talking to OnlyFans than she did um, in her two seasons of Real Housewives of York when she was cast. Okay, I, I, I guess she is. Maybe so. But I mean, it's just um, been a mess. Of course, she's been in ha headlines lately because she is um, at war with Bravo and Andy Cohen right now. And she was all part of the whole reality reckoning. And that's a big mess. She's got a lawsuit going on. But she was actually on Thursday. She was on um, Sophia with an F, the podcast with um, she Again, she said, I fucking love OnlyFans. She she um didn't she didn't say how much money she makes, but she just said that there are two seasons of um Rojas House in New York. I'm not, not judging you do what you need to do, but I mean if you're gonna make more money um in one week on OnlyFans, then I guess you made the right decision. So so there's that for Leah McSweeney. Again, thank y'all for bearing with me because Okay, so I am back. I don't know what happened there, but I apologize to everyone. But again, thank you for bearing with me. Like this is brand new. This is okay. This is brand new for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this all edited, get this put together. But thank you for bearing with me. And like I said, 
we'll get this all put together. We've got so much coming. We still have the Valley podcast that we're working on. So that's like, we've been behind. Like I said, we've been sick. Pneumonia's been flying around, but everybody's getting better. So we'll be back. We've been, we'll, oh my God. All right. We will be back. So, okay. Thank you. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe. We love y'all. Have a good night.